Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik, Cable Video Practice Leader for Light Reading. I'm here at the SCT Cable Tech Expo Show in Denver. I'll be speaking with Vince Pandalfi, who's the Consulting Systems Engineer for Cisco Systems. How has carrier Wi-Fi changed the game for cable operators? Cable operators have had a unique position in deploying Wi-Fi by having strand assets that have both power and backhaul, they're able to deploy hotspots in locations that no other service provider can with those three elements. These hotspots now have enabled their broadband subscribers to be able to enjoy their broadband experience as well as their video experience outside of their homes. So they're no longer tethered to their set-top boxes or table modems and are able to enjoy these services outside their home which provides an additional value on top of the services they receive inside their home. The uh, use of Wi-Fi outside the home also enables the subscribers to reduce their uh, broadband cellular costs and therefore providing additional value to the services offered by the cable providers. Vince, Cisco is the market leader in carrier Wi-Fi. Can you tell us some of the key elements of your solution that are most important to customers? I think the, one of the most important uh, issues that our customers face is the quality of experience for their Wi-Fi users. The Cisco architecture includes several components, the most notable being the Cisco controller architecture. The controller, which we see a visualization of here, does real-time monitoring of the Wi-Fi environment uh, via the access points. So all our currently shipping access points not only include radio resource management capability, but also spectrum analysis. Because in the Wi-Fi space, we not only have to deal with what's known as co-channel interference, which is other Wi-Fi devices, but also non-Wi-Fi devices that also operate in the same spectrum, such as Bluetooth, uh, cordless phones, and most uh, interestingly enough is microwave ovens, which we do uh, see appear as interferers even to outdoor access points. The controller also provides the care and feeding of the access points, so no longer do uh, operators have to worry about software downloads and uh, configuration management of these access points on an individual basis. They're able to manage a much smaller number of controllers, which then expand out to thousands and tens of thousands of access points. The radio resource management does this continuous monitoring of the RF environment and then is, has the ability to change channels as well as change power levels so that the uh, deployed access points operate in harmony with each other and also operate uh, in harsh environments and are able to adapt to those harsh environments. Vince, I understand you're releasing some new features to your service provider Wi-Fi solution. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So here we have displayed the, our newest access point. This is our third generation cable access point. It's the Cisco 1572 cable series access point. So the newest features in this AP are the 802.11 AC standard, which will be able to drive speeds of up to 1.3 gigabits per second off a cable plant. Although uh, those speeds are not necessarily uh, going to be used by individual subscribers, the cable company could use those for other service offerings such as plant extension to areas that are not currently served by cable or fiber until they can trench or, or build out plant to those locations. But uh, having these uh, extra radios, which are transmitters and receivers, uh, instead of using them for speed, uh, operators can use those to translate that to either further distances of coverage or uh, higher speeds to the offered users or turn that into actually better quality experiences by just using those extra signals for uh, better performance in harsh environments. The 1572 also has a new generation cable modem which allows us to go to 24 by 8 bonded channels to achieve those higher speeds and has uh, built-in uh, capabilities for spectrum analysis of the cable plant as well as the uh, ability to diagnose issues uh, either on the cable modem or the access point from either device. So uh, the whole concept was to reduce truck rolls, which on an outdoor deployment is one of the more costly maintenance items for the cable providers. Also here on display at the show is the uh, prototype of our business intelligence dashboard. The business intelligence dashboard not only allows the provider's business 
decision makers to understand how, why, and where their networks are being used in all aspects of the experience, but also be able to monetize this analytic data and pass that over as a service offering in a managed Wi-Fi solution from the service provider to an end customer. Vince, what are some of the services that cable operators can now offer with carrier Wi-Fi? Well, certainly the simplest one is extending the broadband experience outside of the home. They can also use it to provide managed Wi-Fi services as a business services offering, and then uh, the ability to provide mobile network offload and uh, other things like analytics they can provide back to either the managed uh, providers, different venues, stadiums, et cetera, uh, and even municipalities so they can better understand uh, the activities going on in the various municipal de deployments. Okay, Vince, thanks very much.